Scusi. <laughs> Are you recording na? Yes. Can you um unmute des- your desktop audio? Unmuting. Okay. No, I I can do it, baby. <laughs> ah, kala ko sabay tayo. See, it hurts my brain. It's it so really, many things. It really hurts. Dapat mag-record ulit tayo ng The Untamed with this setup. I know. She's a lot. No, no. Grabe. But she is an improvement then though. She is. She really be improving. They see me rolling. They improve it. Hi, everyone. My name is Noah. I'm a Libra, as you already know. <laughs> You've ruined the surprise. Sorry. Also, my best friend's here. <laughs> Hello, Nipple Nation! Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Nipples? Pew, 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 pew. Oh my god. We have to make the movie. <gasps> pew, 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 pew. Hi, guys. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, a lot has happened today. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't have to go into everything because... The live for the finale uh, with the cast and the other reactors to Pearl Next Door is available. And I'm sure you've already seen it and I don't need to tell you because I'm wearing the same thing from that. So obviously it just happened a couple of hours ago and I'm I'm still decompressing. Um, and I've also been trying to tell my best friend to like um, gas me up every so often because I need the I need the confidence booster. Bibiaf, <laughs> how was I? You were great. You were so off brand. <laughs> God damn it! It's not why you're here. I was, I was, I was there. I was, I was in the audience watching it. But when she came in, she was, she looked so shy. Like, uh, is that my best friend? I am shy. What do you mean? Right. So something eventful also that happened apart from this. Noah. That's right, I replayed the clip again. Um, apart from that, BBF and I also rewatched episode six and seven. Six and seven. To, yeah, to get him caught up on where we're at. Um, where are you at, BBF? How are we feeling? I am in my room. <laughs> nice. All right, so my thoughts on episode six and seven. I'm all caught up. And damn, that was dramatic. Like, ooh, and I watched it. And I think BBF watched it like the week after it aired, right? I watch it like right after it goes live. Yeah, so you had a week to digest one episode. I did. I did. I watched it back to back and um, it was a lot. It was crazy. Crazy. Can I say this though? Like he was so, like so sold on Alex. I am. I am. Team Alex, baby. Team Alex all the way. Especially now that I found out that episode 8 is the finale. Was episode 7 Carlene's redemption episode? I don't think so. I don't think so, girl. There's so many opportunities for her to have a redemption arc. Like She has over and over again apologized and been given opportunity after another to redeem herself and like actually start her redemption arc. Or no, not start it push it forward but all she's done is start and start and start apology after apology now too much apology in my opinion not enough action bro and you know what i've learned by my favorite couple wang shan what i learned from wang shan is that if the both of you are in love there are there are swords for that <laughs> if you're both in love there is no need for two things thank you and I'm sorry. Why do you have to hurt me like that? <laughs> Stop the attack! Yeah. Okay, so, um, more lesbians? Let's get it on! My sick chub is not playing! Oh, press play. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 11 11. Honest DR. What a segue. What a segue. Channel, I talk about all the things that I love. Like makeup, fashion, food, relationships, and yes, sex.
Oh, damn. Gonna pause. It's so cute that they made Pearl's YouTube channel intro into the show's intro. <laughs> <laughs> they, they pushed it together because we're now at the finale. Yeah, because in the first few episodes, it wasn't the case, right? If I'm not mistaken, and then as I've noticed, like the past few episodes I've watched, like I thought, I thought every intro was going through a pearl vlog, but now it's just the entire episode. Oh, I didn't really see any of that. Oh, okay. I think my my I just feel bad for her right now. Yeah, I right feel now, so yeah. sad. I have a question for you. Does it matter in the uh, in the whole plot? Pearl has already feelings for Carlene prior. I personally think so. Like the way that I view this and the way that I see it is that Carlene was always the the main choice and Alex was the one that came in as a contender. And I think, you know, that's not out of nowhere. Alex knows it also. That's why her language in episode 7 or 6 no, six. Uh, that's why her language in episode 6 was like I know that she likes you and you like her when she was trying to um, you know, try to make plead her case. So that I, I I respected Alex for that move because it was very clear and it was also very fair because that's the arrangement that they have. So she was yeah. just kind of acting on what arrangement yeah. was already set. I wasn't yeah. mad at all how Alex reacted in that episode because oh my god, this is, uh, she deserved better. But I think also I don't know. The more that I think about it, because like there was a time when. The first time I viewed it, it did really feel very unfair on Alex to suddenly spring this up on us um, that this is her flaw and it was displayed in such an, a final way. Whereas Carlene has been showing flaw after flaw after flaw and at the same time she'd been given a, a, some sort of duration for a redemption arc. Whereas with Alex, her flaw was revealed very late into the show and it's like she doesn't have that much time now to redeem herself she hasn't been given as many opportunities as Carlene so you know there was that part of me um, but after viewing that episode several times because I viewed it like three times in total now and my opinion has always like changed like right now how I feel about that episode is that it was understandable and also I guess it does feed into that flaw being surprising it wasn't just surprising to us, it was also surprising to Pearl. Because we were getting to know Alex at the same pace, I guess, that Pearl was. So, because Pearl was hurt by it, the intention of having it be shocking is not just for Pearl, but also for us, the audience, that is viewing all of this from Pearl's perspective. So, in order for us to empathize with Pearl, uh, the, you know, the protagonist, they made it as out of the blue as mm -hmm. possible which is what they did achieve like I felt like that was kind of out of nowhere even though there was foreshadowing to it but still within that same episode Torn between two lovers hey. <laughs> are you sure you're alright I was kind of worried about you the other day I wanted to be there for you but you didn't want me to come Sim. <laughs> me exhibit A pa lang yun ang pearl topak ako na experience mo na kagay Pearl Topa? Well, at least makakagawa ka ng informed choice. Every time na magsisimula ako ma-enjoy yung company ni Carlene, nakakonsensya ako kasi naiisip pa rin kita. Huh? Well, you seem to be having fun in Carlene's story. Oh, shit! Yung 15 seconds na yun, it doesn't show you the whole picture. What do you see in her? Agire. If merong point system, Gatula, I know that I'd win you. Fair and square. But there's just something about Carlene that you see in her that I just, I just don't. Maybe it's because I don't know her well enough to see it, but... Oh, I'm, I'm so, so sorry for asking you that. But please, I do want you to remember that I'm here for you. For anything. I have a question. <laughs> have I ever answered one of your calls? With me not paying attention to the camera. The amount of times with Game Boys even that I have gone, how did he answer the he's doing push-ups though? <laughs> how did he pick up the call? Like what? Like that whole talk with Alex, like that's something that I've been reiterating also and the thing that like sucks and what's real and what's true and what's human is that even though 
we have right in front of us the person that seems on paper is perfect for us. You know, if there were a point system, as Alex put it, she's correct. Like, by all regards, with flying colors, she would have been the choice. But sometimes we just can't choose who we love. And that's the whole point, too, of like any any kind of um, disagreements or misunderstandings that come with like bisexuality or pansexuality. At the end of the day, you cannot choose who you love. And that's about it. No one is choosing here to be a sexuality because you can't choose that stuff. Sometimes you just are wired a certain way. Sometimes you are just connected to someone a certain way and there's no explanation and that's even why like if you're asked point blank about it you don't know you can't reason it out because mm-hmm. some some things just are the way that they are and uh yeah yeah i, I like i like that that aspect of that talk i guess um uh-oh well sorry for leaving that here we go again okay painting the end call Carlene, sorry, count. Well, since you left me with my thoughts, the overthinking started. Oh shit! What is it, Pearl? Tell us. What's so, up? Oh, na ba kalay yung inabot ng pag-overthink mo? Is it as far yeah. as how I've <laughs> how I've I've, I've jumped? Do it, do it, Pearl. Say it. Naisip ko. If I decide to be with you, it will always be that way. Me setting everything in my life aside to accommodate you. You always choosing something or someone over me. As petty as this is, I would just like to point out that I was right the first time. <laughs> Oh, I've, I love Pearl, though. That's so human. That's true. That's such a human emotion to want to be someone's first priority. Yeah, I really like that. I, I admire the the bravery to um, put out the character that says one thing but feels another. Because <laughs> she always comes off as very, you know, very secure, right? Very put together also. I guess the way, too, that she sees Alex or, you know, the way that she sees Cardine. Or maybe not anymore with Carlene, I'm not sure. But, you know, who we see one way, they could be completely different when we were yeah. turned around. And it doesn't always have to be a bad thing, you know? It's just that humans are much more complicated than what they offer to you verbally. Like, I could give you a long list of how I think I am, but you'll still be able to see things about me that I've ignored. I think that's really, yeah. The touches me. <laughs> she resonates. And I am sorry, but for example, I am with my, if I'm with my someone who's who I'm courting or courting me, and you call me in distress, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Please. Honestly, like same. I said that too in 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 my uh, video for episode seven, because that was the one time that I felt so deeply connected to Carlene ever in the entire show was when she dropped everything to be with her best friend. As irrational as it might have been, because obviously there are other ways to have comfort and chill. Like, she could have stayed on video call with her. She could have just, like, you know, stayed on the call and then maybe drove out the next day. Like, there were so many other things that Carlene could have really done. But sometimes when you... When you... I don't know. Sometimes when emotions kind of take over, you start doing things that, in the moment, in hindsight, you'll be able to realize oh, I probably could have done that done a different way. Yeah, I probably could have handled that better. Yeah, but I won't be apologetic about it. Yeah. At the same time, it's like that's also why I feel like I would like to be with someone. I would like to be with someone that also has a best friend, like has someone that they they know and 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 love as family, so that we can meet in the middle we can find a compromise in that regard because if we both have it it's one thing to understand it it's another thing to actually live it which i know kind of like sucks but you know the level of understanding obviously is much more compatible if you are both living that thing and that you know it's a very strong preference of mine if i find out that you know a potential romantic uh 
interest in my life also has like a best friend of the x amount of time that they would do anything for like that's great that's yeah. that's a really good feeling because at least there's uh, you know we we can get a lot of me having to explain yeah where, where i'm at out of the way because they would just know yeah that was one time come on that's not true and they've apologized over and over Pero... no this is not one time bro scenario ka na, yeah, yeah. Wow, there's a huge disconnect here. That's that's so hurtful. Oh no, Pearl. Tired. She's been invalidated twice in one season Tired. by the same person. Boy, ano oh, ba talaga ka Watch and learn, bitch. Hey, bro. I saw the wrong number. <laughs> da, da. What? Pwede ba ko na lang yung sumagot? Hoy, taghad lang na ako ng mga good things coming your way. Wala akong power sa sagutin niya. So, wrong number someone on Facebook? Sorry, wrong person. Oh, <laughs> So calm. Yung connection. Bro, uh, I want you to meet someone. Oh my god, is this your boyfriend or something? Wait. Oh shit, it is. Hi. See, my yawn. Mahilig din naman ako sa twink. Twink? Oh, fuck, you're a twink! Kumain ka ng bakal, never ka magiging bored ka! Namit ko rin si Linus sa Love Buzz, and good thing he's also into Polly. Wait bro, eh, hindi pa naman ako pumapayag, di ba? That's too soon huh? though! Akala ko ba game siya? Game! Game eh, from, well like, nyo? come on bro, Bakit hold on. Kasi, kung sa simula pa lang naging honest ka na, eh, hindi sana gumuguro yung buhay mo. Shut up, okay? Stop talking to yourself, Fuzzy. Yeah, I know. Like, bro, rookie mistake. But I like it. Ay, hindi ikaw. No. It's okay, it's okay. Gusto ko nga eh. Okay, kinda... Okay, calm down. Um, I hope you're not offended, bro. It's not for me. Oh. Wow. Mm. Good for you, Fonz. Yeah. He sprung up too soon to Fonzi. I think in Gino side, it was like a risk for him. Huge risk. Huge risk. Big move. Like maybe in his mind, in his headspace, it's like, if I can't, uh, let me try this to make this guy understand by introducing him. <laughs> I was saying this too in like my, um, in episode seven, when they first like talked about, well, well when they talked about polyamory again, I kept thinking in my head the entire time that Bro Gino was going on and on about polyamory and being polyamorous. The one thing in my head that kept replaying was like, yeah, but who else are you seeing though? Who else are you seeing? But at the same time, I also kind of like reeled it back in and thought, nah, it would probably freak him out more. Like it would probably freak out Fonzie more to be that face to face that up close with something that he's so unsure of doesn't know anything about might freak him out and it's true like, it's freaking him out right now i don't know if this was the best approach but like props to bro gino though for trying because i i i i can't villainize a dude or just also try i don't think he also knows how really to go about this mm -hmm. so he just like went for the nosedive approach backfired Maybe he can learn something from this. I don't know. This is, this is a teaching moment. Think about this as like that moment in school where you're like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have set the teacher on fire. Anyone else? Or I shouldn't have stabbed the classmate with a pencil. Probably shouldn't have stabbed that classmate with a pencil. In, in an organ that was, as the doctor had described, you know, like important for living. <laughs> Yeah, weird. Also, if this other guy isn't this sleazy... I know! He is dripping with grease. No offense, <laughs> but bro, you come on way too way strong. Too, yeah. Like, way too Not strong. a good way to explain polyamory. Like, you know what, No, mm. If it was someone who is also like Fonzie... Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. 
Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe imagine if it would be someone like Blaine from Glee, Darren Chris's character. Imagine if Blaine... Imagine if Blaine just came out here. It was just full-on Darren Chris's Blaine. Playing the piano. Hi, I'm Blaine. Before you met me. And that's what you missed on Glee. Glee. <laughs> Huh? Ako. <gasps> it's the saboteur. Baklang bakla ako. What? Yung polyamory ba? Hindi, yung poly pocket. Char. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yung polyamory. Oh no, Bia. Bia. Saboteur has taken over. And that's what you missed on Glee. Gusto ko ako lang. That's alright. That's fine. Sana. Kaya ko sabihin sa iyo. Ha? Huh? Na sana kaya ko. I'm so confused by the vibe of this entire scene. <laughs> Hans? Oh, that's... Oh, is this a reference to a movie? Yeah. He's doing the love me, choose me. <laughs> Aww. Bro, if I was bro Gino, I would be so confused. Gusto ko lang huminga, alam mo yun? Gusto ko ng quiet moment. Yung wala akong masasaktan, tsaka walang pwedeng manakit sa akin. Yung hindi ako magtitipto around, wala akong matatapakan na feelings. Fonzi, nakakapagod na na kahit anong gawin ko, parang mali kasi may maapektuhan. Eh, ganyan talaga eh. Gusto ko ba maging nasa masakit sa kaligayahan ng ibang tao? is what you want. Katahimikan is what you'll get. What? Is he gonna... Is he gonna date both Alex and, and fucking Carlene? Wait, what? Oh, oh no. Shit. Moderator Fonz? Kasi naman parang nabanggit niya sa akin kanina na gusto niyo na lang kayong base din pareho. Ah! Fonzie! Tsaka pwede ba tigilan niyo yung song and dance competition <laughs> sa social media? Kerry? Lol. Is that what you want, girl? Girl, lol nga. Yun ba talaga gusto mo? Actually, oh, mas makakapag-isip kasi ako kung walang distractions. And that's the end of episode <laughs> Oh, she's doing her thing. She's doing all this the things she loves. This is the week. <laughs> this is the week. A fun time. Getting so much done. Look at her. Such a this is such a lesbian fantasy scene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm all for it. Girls love galore. No matter what the truth is about you visiting the resort the same time as we did, and no matter how annoyed I was, I shouldn't have dismissed Pearl when she told me that a drunk guy was harassing you. That's sweet. That's really good. Thanks, Alex. No worries. She's right. That drunk guy was being really makulet. But I was able to handle the situation by myself naman. And I understand why he reacted the way he did. Agire? Are these votes? Carleen! From whom? Carleen ulit! In fairness, dumadami yung Carleen apologies. If my vote had been cast in this basket, it would have just said, Thank you! <laughs> Agire! Carleen! Thank you! <laughs> Inaalagaan mo kaming lahat, kaya gusto namin yung alagaan din yung puso mo. Oh, my baby boy! So sweet! Thank you! Ilalive ko na lang yung pagpili ko para update ko What? <laughs> Charot! Parang kanina oh, na lang. This is tapping the fourth wall way too much. I love you. I feel violated. I love you. Love you, Pearl. Baby. Love you na rin. Chundere. <laughs> Chendere. I'm sure magkatabi lang to. <laughs> Cute naman. Be nice to have one of those, huh, Pearl? Yeah. I'm the voice inside Pearl's head. <laughs> Ikaw yung saboteur. <laughs> Excuse? <laughs> Excuse? Where? Pearl. What? Oh. Are they in Gusu right now? <laughs> I, that's what I'm thinking. Like, Carleen? what is this uh, beautiful, Lo wonderful place? Lotus Pier? Lotus Pier? I'm done waiting. What do you mean? 
It looks great. What the hell, color grading? I see you. I love you. What the hell? Girl, I have a lot of shit to figure out. Reality sure versus dream? Oh, this was the photo that was going around on Twit. No, dream scenario do? Really? Okay, well this complicates things. Alex? Pearl. I'm done waiting. Do you think this day of realization is happening on a Sunday? The Lord's Day? Probably. Yeah, this doesn't look like a Tuesday to me, you know? What are these alternate I'm endings? Not going What's down happening? Not a fight. You know that, right? <laughs> I love you too. Do you love both, Pearl? Is this what's happening? Dami, ah, dying. Dami shooting na naganap. Hey, Katula. Akire. I would be fine if she ends up with no one. It's not Alex, is it? So. What is this magical place? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you made your decision. I have. Some painkillers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex. Alex. God damn. The old principal's office talk. Are thou? This is a legit principal's office talk. You're perfect. But? You always say the right words. You always do the right things. But? And I'm just so grateful that I got to experience those things with you. I don't regret giving it a shot. Oh shit, bro. No. But there it is. <laughs> but... I don't think I'm Dami dami mo willing ibigay. And I can't give it back because I'm not ready. Oh, I don't think that matters now. Shit. I think you deserve someone who will reciprocate everything that you're offering. I want that for you. You deserve that. No, I'm gonna cry. I think I deserve yeah, to be the person that I love Pearl. Yo, Rachel's solid in this. Even Pearl. Holy shit. Now that she's in love with someone else. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That's. Yep. I'm so sorry, Alex. Oh, don't. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no. I respect your decision. Kikilabutan ako. Wait lang. Oh my god. Oh, kikilabutan ako sa lahat tay. We've all been in this position, and it's just oh, it's right. Oh god, the having to say all the things to comfort them, even though you're the one that's breaking, is so. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Imagine someone like fucking stabbed you and you're like, no, it's okay. No, it's, it's okay. okay. It's you your you fault. missed a vital organ anyway. Ugh. Yeah, you missed the organs that the doctor would consider like important for living. And it sucks as an audience that you, we we're seeing the perfect one being put down. I don't know. I think we've kind of knew you know like i kind of knew i was had a feeling it wasn't it wasn't gonna be her do you ever you know you ever been in a position where you you just know how happy you can make someone if they just they just give you 
Rachel quotes in this moment. But yeah, I really like the way that she kind of go went about this whole scene because it's so quiet. It's such a quiet heartbreak. Like e- even though we already know, because it, it leaves a lot for us as the audience to feel. Because more often than not, we'll be watching this because we relate and we connect with one of the um, characters or more than one of the characters. And right now, this thing that I'm feeling for her, the things that she's not saying are the loudest. The things that Alex Aguirre is not expressing speaks more volumes than her actual words. And that's what's beautiful about this performance. It's yeah. very eyes. It's very quiet. It's very intimate. It's like she's not screaming it. She's, you know, she's really, she looks like she's really coming from a place of heartbreak. And that's, uh, it's beautiful to watch. I love good actors. <laughs> it's so quiet. I feel It's so this. quiet. You can hear her. You can actually hear her heart breaking. I love that for her. What a good time for you, Rachel Coates. What a time for you to be performing all of this. Uh, and I think, did she confirm that this was her first like major project? Actually, I think she did. Good job. Like something that isn't on stage, I guess. And like is an actual established, ow, like show. I just remember this for all. Oh, her voice is breaking my heart. I just to be happy. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Enough. Tama <laughs> na. It's okay. Holy. Fonzie! Yung manok mo, Fonzie! <laughs> Natalo na! Kahit ano naman maging decision mo, we'll always be good friends, right? Once again, for the people in the back, maybe? For the cameraman? For the director? For everyone? Well, where are these places? <laughs> What are these places that you found? Where are they? What secrets do they hold? Like what? Is this a human behind this mask? Like what? Who said that? Who what? In why? Why was there just like a ready bottle of wine? Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I got it out of my system. I've been very honest with you. That's true. I love you. Oh no. She is pale as a ghost. Oh no. Really? I'm in love with you. I love you too. Oop. Something's. Ooh. Something ain't right though. And. That's why you're letting her go. Don't do it, Pearl. Don't do it, Pearl. And. Because of this love, which I'm so sure of, I will always choose what's best for you. I mean, Whoa. I want you to heal. So is it like, Please heal first. what's happening is that she, like, Pearl into any thinks that she's not good enough for Alex, so that's why she's letting Alex go. And then on the flip side with Carlene, she thinks Carlene isn't ready for this commitment, so she's letting Carlene go also? Yeah. She's not ready for a commitment with Alex because she doesn't think that she can match that love. Meanwhile, she knows that Carlene cannot match the love that she, she can give her, so she would like for Carlene to have a good think about it and go to therapy? To heal, like which I um, mean, uh, is that? Is that it? I don't want. Hmm. He'll never lose me. Alam ko patapos na to. And I, 
I'll let you finish, bro. Um, huh. I know I've said it. I know I've said it. I would be all right with her not choosing anyone really. And I meant it. I don't know though, like. I don't know exactly how I'm feeling. I can't express it into words. What are words, really? Just kidding. No, don't go there. Don't trail off, Noah. Stay focused. Okay. It's just. Maybe it's. The re the reason for it? I guess she does need to heal. Are you feeling anything? Are you feeling a little bit unsettled? Anything? It's just me. No, I, I'm actually kind of iffy on that reasoning. I'm still digesting it. Actually, like it's it is it's odd. It, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I guess there's also a message here of putting yourself first and knowing what's best for you. Yeah, but Pearl said she's choosing what's best for Carlene. Yeah. Does that mean what's best for them? Or what's best for just Carlene? For Alex's reason, I, I, I'm I, okay with that. That's painful, but understandable. She can't. Exactly. Because it was a clear rejection. Yeah, and in the first place, we know that she has been in love with Carlene since episode one. That's what it's mm -hmm. established. Yes. But her reasoning to Carlene really sounds like a cop out. Like, I can't explain it. Like, it's almost hugas kamay in a way. Love doesn't have to have a pero kasi. <laughs> Mahal kita. Mahal kita. Yeah, I see what you mean. Maybe it was the reasoning, right? Because that's where I kind of was lost also, was the fact that Pearl made it this whole thing about, like, this is what's best for you. She's not... The way it bothers me is because she's not wrong. She's, she is not wrong. Yeah, I'm not saying that Carlene doesn't need to heal. I'm, like, one of... I don't know. I've, like, consistently criticized Carlene for, like, having very obvious patterns in her toxic behavior the way she goes about her her pain and her hurt is by invalidating pearl over and over again so i'm not one to disagree with pearl when pearl says that you need to heal i get that i'm i'm with pearl on that pharaoh um on the other hand if if she really 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 loved carly un unconditionally she would have helped her heal by being with her Okay, to play devil's avocado, maybe then kasi the way that Carlene responded is her admitting that in her silence is her admitting na lang din na Pearl is right. So instead of forcing it. debating with yeah. Pearl, yeah, forcing it and saying na parang, no, you should give me the benefit of the doubt. Like, you should let me be able to heal and like, also try this because I'm an adult I can make my own decisions and you making this decision mm -hmm. for us even though we are a unit is unfair because mm -hmm. that's only half so paano naman ako alam mo instead of her going about this she really just like quieted down held Pearl's hand and started crying I feel like maybe could have been her way of accepting it and admitting na parang no you're right I do need to heal because I've I've heard you a bunch of times like again to compare it to parallel it with Alex's scene it's the things that aren't being said that are the loudest. So this is me just trying to like grasp. <laughs> we try to grasp and, and make sense of it. Like, how do you feel about that? Do you, does that s settle anything? It is a reach, but yeah, I can see it. Yeah, like that. I can see it as like a possibility of the headspace that Carlene is in. Because you're you're yeah. right with with Alex. It does play the same way, like the. Uh, the words that being said are expressed. Yeah. Like, it's not lost on us at all. Yeah. But, it's, but still, it, it was it's weird. It was weird how it was played out. Begs the question, no? Like, what, what could have played out better that made sense? I would now... I said earlier that I'll be okay if she chooses no one. But now, I would have preferred she chose Carlene and then 
like she knows that she needs to feel let me help you and also this this um this ongoing overarching theme then that like they uh pearl and fawns uh joked about the whole like Mamili ka, but you have to live with the consequences. Mm-hmm. Maybe it would have been nice to yeah. have seen her live with the consequences. Um, maybe, and and also, ako, I still think din naman na parang her not choosing anyone. I still stand by that. I think na yeah, that that's also a one thousand percent viable option. Because self love has also been a theme within the season. However, However I feel like maybe the reasoning yeah. kasi why she. She loves Carlene but not choose to be with her. It's not about her loving herself. It's about Carlene and what's best for yeah, her. Yeah, it's about her loving Carlene. Yeah. To a, to a huge degree that she would make this sacrifice. Here's what I'll say. I can see what they're trying to do. I feel like you and I have gone over this. We've talked about what their side might have been, what this side could have been, and like where we're coming from. So I'll summarize it as this. Like I think now I now we see where where they're coming from what they were trying to accomplish mm-hmm. unfortunately i don't think it connects with me as an audience member and someone that cares about these characters mm-hmm. i think that's just where it is and like i don't know how to reconcile that i don't know what to say uh, and, you know i don't even know if it's if it's an issue cuz say you know it's art so shows like this we all can have our own opinion and and feel the way that we feel because again like i can't really i mean i can't really rewire i don't want to lie um there really is something there na parang it just didn't connect with me like but i can see the attempt i, I would like to say that i hope na parang the attempt wasn't invalidated in all of it and there were moments there that were great i loved the whole thing with alex and how that was handled but ultimately with carlene something there just doesn't mesh Right, and I wish I could like speak further. Maybe what I said earlier is not as coherent as I would like it to be. I'm not sure, but like currently, that's the best. Like, that's the, the the smartest way that I can put it. How about you? Well, maybe we still have like a few minutes left. Maybe yeah, the connect the the disconnect would end there. Let's see. Super, thank you. Binabasa ko lahat ng messages niyo. And I am very happy to report that your Mayora doesn't feel bokya anymore. <laughs> because right now, I am very happy. I mean, super single pa rin, but very happy. Bye, babes! Oh. Mm. Now we got a few more. Oh, yeah. Okay. I hear you. Are you even listening to me? Did you hear what I said? I'm yes, sorry? Hazel, I'm listening to you. Hazel? I heard from mom. You know what? You're being impulsive again. Are you sure about this? I'm sure. A hundred percent? A hundred percent. I... I love her. Oh my god, katalaga. All this for a girl? She's a special girl. So when am I gonna see you again? Come to me. Season two. (laughs) I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. We're good. Also, um, have you heard anything from the police about Aunt Patty? (laughs) Alam Carlene, take your time. The road to therapy, mahirap yan. Oh, she got therapy. But as long as you attend our session, good on her. You will reap its benefit. And makakita mo mas pag open up ka and makakapag move forward tayo. Hapa doc. I just really want to heal and move on from my toxic past. And uh, for a girl that I'm really in love with, I want to be my best self. Um, Filipino 2020. Ponzi na lang. Achilles. Excuse? I know you look familiar. Anyway, tell me more about yourself. Why do I feel like I know you, sis? <gasps> Baka mag soulmates tayo. Char! They do have a similar background Not and char. pattern, like love per pattern, except for the bicycle hanging on the wall. They know they're supposed to ride that, right? Also, why are there two? Are you Polly? And in this channel, I talk about all the things that I love. Like. Carlene? Carlene. Hey! Um, do it. Alex. Wee! Wee! 
paasa ka. Your Mayora doesn't feel bokke anymore. Tigang lang. Tigang lang, <laughs> tigang. Okay, so if there's gonna be a season two, what season two gonna look like? The same thing? Them pity over bro? I'm glad though. I'm happy that I'm, you know, Carlene's getting help and she's able to do so because, yeah, I, I mean, not that, eh, not to sound like a broken record, but obviously therapy is a luxury and we should always remember that. So, like, if you're not able to afford therapy or get it for yourself, don't feel bad. I just wanna, like, get that disclaimer out there for anyone that's listening and, like, wants help and is trying. You are valid. You're okay. Also, happy for. Alex, sort of. Actually, no. I don't know what's happening. She said that she was trying something. The Hazel was like, what? All for a girl? Are you sure about this? Oh, she's staying in the Philippines. That's mm -hmm. her decision. She's gonna stay in the Philippines and no longer go back to LA. Which I guess makes sense for a fugitive. There's Pearl, who... I guess, ultimately, that's more than you could ever ask for. Is like, at least she's happy. What about you, BBF? How do you feel about the show in its entirety? Oh, the show is great. It like really opens yeah. up an avenue for girls' love, like as a mainstream concept. Very brave of idea first. Idea first. Love rewards the brave. I see what they yeah! do. Yeah, <laughs> I do see what you do. I see what you do there. <laughs> Lots of great moments in the show. Honestly, like there there were a lot of moments that had me like really emotional laughing out loud for real i will never per forget potassium um i will never forget uh alululululu <laughs> what a fun moment Alululu oh, come on fuck off um i won't forget this no that's right the edit once again of Vienna saying my name <laughs> we'll never get old we'll be inserted at every moment be prepared or don't I like Fonzie as well I wish Fonzie was a little bit more like honestly like a little bit more fleshed out mm -hmm. maybe that's just me like I, I really um, I think he's super funny and I think that he he uh his whole supporting role for Pearl was fulfilled fairly well and I also like the fact that he had his own thing going on but I would have I don't know I would have liked to have seen something a bit more fleshed out, out of, uh, from him um Alex is great uh Carlene is great um Pearl is Pearl de resistance you know I'm so sad that it's gone though cause like I really liked having something out there that felt like me that felt like a show that needed to happen at mm -hmm. least yeah because it, was, it wasn't just girls love it was bisexuality it, it, it was it was a, a confident bisexual woman going about her dating life and expressing you know herself freely like the, i love that i love that that was the protagonist of the show she was so like charming and easy to like and that was great so yeah, I think um, I hope and I, I do agree that this does really open up an avenue for it really does like build the path towards more hopefully mm -hmm. shows coming out that are girls love that are like women centered and I'm sure there will be a lot more and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. W women uh, supremacy 20 forever. Thank you. And I thank you. So, uh, yeah, that has been the show. I hope it was special enough for you guys. Maybe a lot more serious moments in this reaction than usual. We really took it seriously. We were really deep in We were there. into it. We were into this episode. And I'm pretty sure once again, you'll see, you'll see this clip of Carlene saying Noah's name. Noah. <laughs> Thank you. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. I love you guys so much. And that's why I want you to heal. I'm just kidding. Uh, bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and stop recording. I am going to stop recording.